All right, wrapping it up here, finishing the day up small green, $117 on the day for the last day of the week and last day of the month. TBLT still giving some good opportunity from uh, 1130 AM. It made a move from 763 all the way up close to $9. So good opportunity. However, I slept on it. Um, gave a 15% move, but uh, I was, I did scalp a little bit, only very small share size, like 50 to hundred shares at a time, uh, just to kind of get some practice in midday trading. But, you know, I was, I was already mentally checked out by 10 30. Uh, and now I'm just, uh, just going to wrap up the day. I'm not going to come back for power hour. Uh, this may give more opportunity, but I am going to call it for the last, for the month of July, uh, finishing up uh, in July, a much bigger uh, increase on this month versus last month, about a 66% increase uh, on the week. Um, not my best week I've ever had, but my second best week I've ever had. Um, you can see my stats. And um, then... Um, I'm also currently in a six day, or no, eight day winning streak. So that's really, really good. And I wanted to just have a green day for the, the end of the month. I didn't want to um, take too much risk for today. I kind of wanted, my attitude was actually to kind of go easy coming into today uh, because um, I don't know. I felt like if I really took too much risk today and I did have a, a massive red day it kind of would st it would sting a lot because uh, of the last day of the week and last day of month it's just that mental pressure uh sometimes uh can get to you um so my attitude was uh you know what i'm not going to i'm not going to um try to swing for defenses today i'm just going to just try to get basic green and then walk away and enjoy my weekend and then august is a new month and I'm already prepared to be sizing up uh, to like a next level of share size. Um, so that is very exciting. Uh, makes me look forward to the next month. Uh, but July, very consistent. Very, kept my red day small. Um, very proud of uh, the consistency I've been having. And that's just showing that uh, I, I think that I'm ready for uh, the next level um, coming in July. I mean, sorry, coming in August. So let's go through the trades. It was a bit of a choppy open, um, but we did get uh, pre-market. We got a couple moves. Mm. So pre-market kind of scalping TBLT, small size, 100 shares at a time. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, just scalping, getting the dips, selling the pops. Uh, I actually was holding on this pullback back to the 90 MA, but it flushed down below and got shaken out and it came back up. And that's when I started getting back in for a couple gains. Uh, then here again, I had a nice rip here from 6099 up through 7, uh, all the way up to 725. Again, snapping, scalping the first one minute pullback after first breakout. Uh, by the end of the pre market, I was up about 40 bucks on the day. So a good little cushion and definitely. Uh, worth it because uh, I did take a couple losses right at the open here on TBLT in this first one minute candle. I was buying for the break of 720. This thing had a huge false breakout. I lost about maybe 100 bucks on that. And I was trading uh, a little bit bigger share size, uh, 250 share increments, uh, something. So over 250 share increments on a $7 stock. That's like... Uh, it's a little over, a little under a $2,000 position size, which is this kind of average, I guess, that what I've been trading here in this bear market. Um, and so after the open, we also had GovX as well. And uh, GovX was not bad. It ripped up here. I started trading this pullback, taking my gains all the way up through here. Then out of nowhere, we get this huge dump, and I get caught in uh, for another $50, $60 loss there. And so that kind of set me back again to back in the red after I made my profit back on this first leg here on GovX. 
uh, got me back in the red, then went back to TBLT, and then this started curling up for that red to green move. It was a beautiful move, uh, but I didn't want to get too aggressive on it because uh, I thought that like because I was having big red big red trades or semi big red trades, I guess percentage wise, maybe not dollar amount, but percentage wise, they're much bigger than my wins thus far. Uh, coming on this red to green, like I was a little bit nervous to say the least because um, of the flushes that had been going on. And so it seemed like the market was signaling that I should kind of let on the let off the gas uh, a little bit and kind of um, conserve, conserve or like with um, um, stop the bleeding, I guess, on the day because I just kept getting red. It couldn't really stay green. Uh, then we got this move and I did trade through the high. Uh, for that red to green move, we did, we did end up seeing a nice move, and I was able to get a nice $880 win through the high. Uh, and then again here, trying to scalp this area. Um, but nothing really came from it because, I don't know, I was getting faked around on the, on the spread a little bit. Uh, and then here again, we had a false breakout there. And then finally curling back up 1130. This, then this thing ripped for about... Um, 15%, which wasn't too bad, but uh, at this point I was already checked out for the day mentally. And like, if I were to come back in here and start trading this aggressively on the size that I was trading at the open, uh, and I took a massive loss and I was back to red on the day, I would just feel so bad that it would, it would probably, it would leave a really bad sour taste in my mouth uh, if that happened. Uh, so that's why I kind of just stuck to small size, really undercapitalized and underestimated this move, actually, uh, TBLT. Um, really good move through $8. That was a really good move. Um, and then that first one minute pullback, reclaim at eight twenty, and then it ripped up to eight seventy. Um, so that was it. Uh, TBLT took a $100 loss at the open. Uh, it's pretty gnarly. And then took another $53 loss on GOVX scalping my way and then TBLT I was able to get $52, $24 through the scalp for that red to green. Um, and then the rest was small size. So here you can see my intraday PL. So red, green, red, green, back to red, back to green. So a little bit choppy. Uh, so I just thought that you know the market was showing me some signs that I should reduce my risk on the day. And Coming into the last day of the month, um, not really looking to make or break the month here, uh, especially after this really good uh, hot streak I've been on. Uh, so a lot of people were struggling this month, but um, I think my uh, my growth and consistency is really starting to show itself, and that's how I was able to have uh, a record month, I guess, yeah, from from year to date or from all time. It's actually my best month uh, thus far. And obviously, there's definitely going to be some bigger months ahead of us. I'm looking forward to that because I, I'm ready. I feel so ready for the next level of sizing. Um, <clears throat> so I think that was it. I don't think I traded much else. TB, SNTI. <coughs> SNTI thought this would moon through 283. Uh, here, I don't think I did. I trade it, so I don't remember. Well, I must have traded it. I just don't remember when I traded it. Yeah, here pre market, I actually went for a pullback here off the 90 MA, thinking we'd see some continuation up through the high, but uh, fell through. Small loss there. Pre market and AYLA traded that pre market. I th had higher hopes uh, at this on the open. I thought this would rip up past 242, which is the previous high on the daily. Um, well, on the five day chart, you can see 242. I thought we'd rip up through there, but uh, we kind of had a harsh dump there at the open. But did trade this pullback through below 210. So starter at 208, and then uh, taking my profits, adding back at the first one minute pullback, uh, taking some small gains, but didn't really have much meat on the bone. Uh, so I'm going to go enjoy my day, enjoy my weekend, and then come back. On Monday, with a completely fresh slate um, and with a new share size. So pre-market, I've been doing 100 share starters on most of my positions, uh, 100 share increments. 
And uh, so pre-market, I'm probably going to bump that up to 250 uh, minimum for 250 shares minimum, depending on the, the the dollar amount of the stock. Is if it's under five dollars, I'll probably do. Uh, I'll probably do um, 250 shares, uh, and then for stocks over five dollars, between like five and ten. I don't like to trade stocks too far over ten dollars, just because um, it's not it's not really suitable to my strategy. Uh, I will maybe bring that down to keep that at a hundred shares increments. Uh, but TBLT, I traded this pre market. Um, and I was using a hundred shares, so maybe I could keep. Maybe I could do two hundred fifty shares increments pre market. And a thousand share increment at the open for stocks over five dollars. Or you know, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, we'll see. I'm definitely gonna in increase my share size. I'm just uh, not really sure what what exactly is gonna be my 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 risk tolerance. Uh, so before pre market, like I would be doing a hundred share increments just to kind of get my feet wet. Uh, pre market, uh, if we see like a fresh gapper. And then obviously if it does move and start giving some momentum, then I would probably up that usually to 250. So I guess now maybe I should do my starter at 250 and then jump it up to 500 on stocks that are really moving pre-market. And then at the open, maybe do 500 share to 1,000 share starters and then jump that up to maybe, yeah, probably about 500 share starters first and we'll see and we'll feel it out. And then... Uh, if I'm ready to size up, be sizing up to a thousand share increments. Uh, I think that seems seems uh, like that would work. If I would do 500 shares for like you know dips uh, and scalps, and if I'm looking for a bigger move, uh, like for example this red to green, where I'm a little bit more patient looking for a bigger move, then I could size that up to a thousand shares. Uh, I don't know. I'm still kind of messing around with it, shooting some ideas. I'm going to spend a lot of time this weekend uh, thinking about it and maybe even practicing in a simulator to kind of get a feel for that new share size and exactly what type of strategy I'm going to deploy. Uh, probably, you know, it wouldn't make sense to change my strategy all that much uh, on the day, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what that equates to next week. I'm not entirely sure that how this is going to pan out with me sizing up because uh, I want to size up pre-market and as well as I want to size up my my base uh, starter share size and I want to add a, uh, increase my uh, ads to my positions as well. So I'm just trying to figure out how much is going to be in each of those um, ratio wise. So that's it. Um, finishing the day up 117. Nice, solid, like single base hit, um, small gains, uh, but happy to be green. It's definitely a choppy day today. Uh, did get some momentum on TBLT, but uh, that's it. So uh, if you're still watching this point, please hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing if you're not yet a subscriber, and I'll see you guys next week on the next Day Trading Recap. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.